morning, Father. Morning, Austin. Good morning, Randy. It's a pleasure to be with all of you today um, and all you watching and to have Austin Powers here with us, a faithful parishioner. And I might add, he is an author of a great book uh, called Memoirs of a Bagman. So if you get the chance, uh, try to get this book as well. But we're here today to talk about a different book um, and we'll hopefully maybe get to this at the end. But um, our Christmas uh, gift to all parishioners and to anyone, though, um, who has visited us, we have this book uh, by Dr. Edward Shree and Curtis Martin called The Real Story of Understanding the Big Picture of the Bible. And so in this book, we seek to encounter Jesus, but not just to encounter him ourselves. We want to encounter him with others. And uh, Austin leads uh, the, one of the book studies for uh, this real story. And I was just going to ask you, Austin, you've been participating in this many times. What has been your experience of the parish book study of getting there with people and walking through the book together? So we're Catholics and we tend to like to keep to ourselves. We tend to like to go to mass, leave. We have our, we have all of our social get togethers and things together, but the over, at least I feel like since I was young, there's always kind of been this stutter step or hesitation toward the community side, the evangel evangelization side, toward building a relationship with Jesus, toward having a relationship with Jesus that's communal with other people. And I mean, you could get, my family grew up in this parish and I'm thinking, my goodness, how often did we sit down and read a book together and or any of us read a book about our faith, about Christ, about growing in holiness, and then talk about it. And it was very, very rare. We were faithful to the rosary, going to mass, the sacraments. But I will tell you what, when I started just in my own life, reading something with another and talking about it, <clears throat> it changed, it brought out the passion that was inside of me. I learned from them. And when we started doing it here, the exact same thing happened. We had our first book study. We had, a, it was like 250 parishioners that were showing up to all of them kind of together. We had about 250 and it was a similar book as this. And the group of 10 that we had stuck together for five or six, seven years awesome. and doing it. And we got to know each other really well. I grew, they grew, the conversations began to be heightened. You learn so much more about your faith and in that, like just like Lexio Divina, where I can sit there and hear someone else speak about how God is speaking to them, how God is working in their life or what they got out of what they read, I can grow through their experience and through that sharing, which I wouldn't have gotten if I just would have read it and sat there on my own necessarily. It, it, was, it is very valuable to sit in a with a group or with someone else and let them and their experience also heighten and add to what you're getting out of what you're reading. Oh, awesome. So it's a way of reading the book for you is encountering Jesus, but then encountering Jesus on another level mm -hmm. through the people has been your experience that you're being enriched, not only by what you read in the book, but what insights that others have had and that you mm -hmm. can share as well. Yeah, it's, it's the difference, Father, between going to Mass and leaving and not saying anything about the Mass mm -hmm. and just going about your life and going to Mass and having a conversation with your family on your way home or awesome. at dinner that night where now you're each sharing. Reading that book is the... When you read a book and you just go about your life, there's only so much you can get from it because we're so busy. But that extra reiteration through conversation with others is incredibly powerful and will help what you're reading stick so the information's good, mm -hmm. it, and it's, it, what's the word I'm looking for? It adds to, it supplements uh -huh. um, our faith and what we get in the Mass and everywhere else. But it is like this deeper weaving of stirring in our hearts, kind of what we're called and where the, where the gospel works in our lives, how we can apply it. And like anything else, awareness is incredibly important. The more you know... Mm -hmm the more I, at least personally, want to know about God. He's constantly a romantic. Yeah. So if someone, though, didn't have, feels like, well, but I don't have much to offer, what would you say to them? If someone was like, you know, I'd like to do this, but 
I, I just, I mean, as I read this, I don't know if I'd have much to say in a group. Perfect. I need you in my group because I talk too much. That's what I'd say. So just as much as there's people who talk too much, the people who don't talk enough are also valuable. Because over time, like with our group, and I have all new people this year, is that it's like anything else, like a family. The more you get to know each other, the more you open up, the more you talk, and the more you share. And shoot, if you're quiet, come be quiet. That's who you are. Through your quietness, I can sit there and grow an appreciation of, oh, okay, I should probably listen a little more while I'm here. They haven't had a chance to talk, <laughs> which is so valuable, just that little thing. So I, I'd say show up and listen. And whether you get something out of it or not, you reading and coming and listening and being there is valuable to the people that are there. So, so really, there's no excuse then. In yeah, a way, there is no excuse. So, so even if you're quiet, you just heard from Austin, he'd love to have you in your group um, and just to interact and just to uh, just to listen because it helps teach him to listen. He needs that. No, it's just <laughs> it's easy. It is. <laughs> but no, thank you. And so please, if you don't have a copy of our book, um, The Real Story, uh, there's still copies available in the church and the signups are still available as well to get involved in the group. Austin would love to have you or any of our group leaders so that we can come to experience the deep love of Jesus, not only through the words on this page, but through the people we interact with and how he wants to touch our hearts so that we may follow him better and make a grateful response in our stewardship. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you, Austin, for being on here. And thank you for the other book that you've written of Memoirs of a Bagman. Look forward to uh, myself. I've just began it as well. It's been interesting. So okay. thank you. So I want to add one last yes. thing, Father. So, you know, the devil works pretty much the same in a lot of our lives. We're something good that we ought to do when we want to do it. There's going to be tons of distractions, reasons we shouldn't, things that are going to get in our way of doing it. And I would tell you that just writing your name down on the list, signing up and committing is going to, even if you bail on me, I don't care. But if you write your name down, it's going to, you're going to hold yourself accountable. And I would ask that you kind of make yourself a little uncomfortable, especially if you aren't doing anything in the spiritual life. You need to be doing something in addition to your Sunday Mass experience and hopefully your prayer before meals and your daily prayer life. And this is a way to do it, and it'll change your life. I dare you to give it a month and a half, which is our five meetings, and show up. And something's going to change in the way that you think and see the world and see your Catholic faith. So please come. I'm going to sign up now. Please. please. I hadn't signed up. I'm going to do it now. Well, there's awesome. the invitation, everyone. Please be a part of our Parish Book Program and experience Jesus in a deeper way. You're all in our prayers, so God bless you. Thank you.